Mark Mitchell. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. <coughs> Order over. My question is to the Minister of Economic Development. How is the government improving value for money in its procurement of services for the public sector? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I'm pleased to announce the government is expected to save around $60 million over the next five years after signing all of government procurement contracts for mobile voice and data services. The new contracts are part of our ongoing procurement reform program, which is making government buying as efficient as possible and reducing cost. These mobile voice and data contracts have been awarded to Two Degrees, Geni and Vodafone. They include all voice minutes and data used on mobile phones held by government employees. Mobile voice and data services are a very significant cost for government, so these new contracts are a great result. Mark Mitchell. How much will the government save through these public procurement contracts? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. The seven contracts, Mr Speaker, signed so far are on track to achieve a total saving to the government and taxpayers of $350 million. Each dollar saved can be reinvested in improving public services and essential infrastructure in order to help grow the economy. We're continuing to show the substantial negotiating power of government when procuring all of government's services. Agencies are now spending considerably less on items such as computers, and the uptake by agencies is increasing as their existing contracts expire. Agencies and suppliers are also saving on resource costs due to having preferred suppliers. Question, Mr. Speaker. Mr Speaker, will his plans extend to the procurement of a new coalition partner for the government by replacing Mark Mitchell with Colin Craig and Rodney? If so, should Colin Craig separate his campaign contributions into amounts of $25,000 or less? <laughs> what are I, insofar as the Minister has any ministerial responsibility, he may answer the Honourable Stephen Royce. Tee hee, tee hee, Mr Speaker. Question, question number 11. Darian.